Hi Pisces and welcome to the channel. Um, if you're already familiar with this space, welcome back. But if you're new before we even jump into the video, please subscribe to this channel. Um, and then as you're watching it, if you enjoy the content, you mess with the vibe and you want more from me, then give me a thumbs up just so I know that you actually enjoy the material that I'm um, currently uploading. But let's get into it, Pisces. You have the Five of Swords that jumped out. <clears throat> what is this energy about? Is this you or someone else you're dealing with? Is it ever you? <laughs> no, for real. Let's take some accountability. You know what I'm saying? There's too much going on in the media with people in relationships that aren't as... Um, faithful as we thought that they would be especially given some of the platforms these people have um so let's take accountability here if this is your energy pisces dare to be different okay um but you have the five of swords that came out with the moon the ten of cups the seven of cups of course you have all this water energy then bottom of the deck, if you're curious, you have the Two of Cups with the Death card and the Five of Wands. Okay, as far as chakras, throat chakra right now is needing um, to be regulated. Yeah, because I'm hearing dysregulation of emotion right now for some of you. Um, I'm hearing diurnal. Is that a sleep schedule? You know how we all have like biorhythms and we have like different wake and or sleep cycles or for the most part it's supposed to be pretty similar as far as like when the body is the most active you're burning the most calories um and after like ingesting food when your body then becomes a little bit tired like do we all have that same rhythm if not or if we do you don't like that's dysregulated like your sleep cycle is thrown off right now. Um, and so you can be getting to that point of like delirium where you're you're either foregoing sleep because of a certain responsibility that you have going on in your life right now. Say like you're in school, you're studying for like the MCAT, right? You're trying to be a doctor. Um, and so you're pushing your limits as far as how long you can stay awake to be sure that you can saturate yourself with as much information as possible because you're getting ready for like some sort of like a, a placement test, like a proficiency test or something of some sort like that as an example of like why you wouldn't go to bed and you've been up for like 32 hours. But like if you're taking any supplements, let's say like antidepressants, and I'm only saying that because we have the moon energy here and you know Luna is an abbreviated form of lunatic um right but in spanish luna means moon um and so whenever you hear the word lunatic you think about somebody that's like dysregulated and i'm i'm touching on like if you're not going through like psychological and emotional health issues such as like major depressive disorder and you know like one of the symptoms of that is like a period of mania um, then it's something where you're maybe taking supplements that are supposed to be stimulants, um, but only for people that actually need it. And by that, I mean like Adderall, Vyvanse, those types of like ADHD for people that are like hyperactive medicines, um, or people that just have a, a hard time with being able to concentrate because there's so much that's being thought about or that's wanting to be done in place of the current stimuli, stimuli, however you pronounce it. So that can be the thing, but I'm definitely getting like dysregulation, super sensitive at this time. Like some people may not know what to say necessarily, like any little thing that's being said to you right now, you might find super triggering or just brings you to the point of tears. Now this can be in terms of like an email that you get, maybe you've been waiting for an acceptance letter and you didn't get it and so you're bummed, um, right? You're, you're a little like disappointed and feeling disheartened here. Um, however, it's, <sighs> with the Ten of Cups, a lot of people who read tarot, they say the Ten of Cups is like the most 
climatic part of somebody's like emotional nature like the the highest level of joy but I deal with this card as term in terms of it just being the like most heightened emotion one can feel right and because there's so much gloom with all the blue that's in the spread it's leading me to believe that it's more so on that like gloomy side you know a little bit despondent type of energy here um, so you can be have you can have gotten rejected and or um, texting back and forth with a lover like if you're dealing with somebody right now it's best that you just ask for space and or that you bite your tongue before you say something that you could potentially regret and or vice versa maybe that's why somebody else has created a little bit of space from you because it's very much like tit for tat type of energy and or again it's like you're at your breaking point right <laughs> you're like a, a thin line between love and hate right now is crossing your mind with whoever you're dealing with you're just extremely annoyed and or frustrated by this person because maybe they don't understand what your emotional needs are right now that you don't you're not looking for solutions you just want a listening ear and or you just want somebody that's going to embrace you right now like you you need everything that this person is not able to give you because again they just don't understand like they're not getting it and maybe because you're not verbalizing it so if you're trying to um sit back and just wait for this person to figure it out like especially if you're dealing with a male and you're a female you have to understand that the way that men think about things is completely different than how women um internalize digest and uh absorb information you know and certain clues or cues if you will like verbal nonverbal type of cues men are not that great at nonverbal cues so if you're trying to switch up your body language hoping this person will see that that's not the norm and to ask you like what's wrong it's not going to happen so you're only up upsetting yourself by not just being like hey you know what like i need to tell you right now that i'm just i'm not happy like this made me mad this made me sad this hurt my feelings that type of thing instead of trying to hold it in here and or waiting until it gets to that point where it's like a build up a build up and then you just you lash out so that's what's going on if you're if you're dealing with somebody right now in love um, either what they're saying is a little too abrasive um, and they're just not really good with tact and diplomacy and being able to relay what they may be feeling on a, a heart level. And so it comes off a little cut and dry and that can hurt your feelings right now. Some people, it's a, it's a matter of you dealing with somebody that is too elusive for you like you're stuck in the seven of cups energy because it's like they say that they want something with you however the way that you feel about the situation and where it's progressed it, it's off right that's dysregulated it's not it, it's completely different right so like they can be saying that they want you and that they love you, but in your heart of hearts, your intuition, your gut instinct is telling you that they could just be saying this because there's an ulterior motive. You know, there there's something that they're trying to get out of you, but the best way that they can do it is by emotionally manipulating you. And or this is something that you're doing. And if you're aware of this, Pisces, like cut the shit, come on like especially if you have let's say like your seventh house is in a house that deals with harmony like libra okay if you have uh if you have libra in your seventh house then you, your biggest life lesson is to learn how to negotiate fairly with people that is where most of your luck and your blessings will come from in this life um up to but not limited to your personal romantic relationships like with business with your family dynamics with any friends that you want to make in life with any um like opportunities you're trying to seek out for yourself and trying to ask for a loan and in trying to get a house or in trying to sell something of yours to somebody like the, uh, relatability is important yes but like transparency is important in all aspects you will find that you fare better when you're just 
being upfront, right? But again, if you lack the ability to have tact and diplomacy and relaying what it is that you want to say, then that's something that you have to work on at this time. But yeah, um, if somebody is trying to undermine you, Pisces, with all this water energy, we just left your season, but make no mistake, honey, Aries are also highly intuitive. Like as a fire sign, they are really intuitive um, and very direct when it comes to the things that they have a precocious nature about. Um, and so you guys can be monopolizing or just taking advantage of this energy as you come into this season as well with just how precise you can be in the um, observations and again in the in the instincts that you get about a certain person place or thing right now okay if you're really confused about what a certain person wants out of you right now um, I would suggest I can't force anything but I would suggest that you pray about it and pray to be made aware or pray to be made shown what it is that this person is looking to get out of an interaction with you right what it is that your lover wants from you and or needs from you and or could be potentially hiding um, from you if you feel like they're starting to be a little more elusive and um, what's that word like mysterious you know just um, really hard to figure out definitely pray about it but I also think that you need to start jotting down what it is that you see what it is that you hear what it is that you smell when you go to sleep and you have dreams because again i feel like some of the prophecies and some of that um some of the answers that you're really looking for they're they're only going to come through in your dream state that's as best as i can get it out pisces okay so that's what it is um as far as relationships though, you're about to go through a transformative period if it hasn't already started. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you're just not emotionally fulfilled in a certain relationship that you're in. And so you will have that awareness if you haven't already, it's coming up for you pretty soon. Um, and by Taurus's season, if you're not still with this person, you'll if you're still with this person, you'll be at the point where it's going to be like an ultimatum, you know, like either you're going to grow in this relationship, you're going to match the energy that I've been putting into it, you know, it's going to be reciprocal, there's going to be respect, there's going to be romance, you know, adventure, spontaneity, there's going to be like mental stimulation, there's going to be, you know, just the proper courting and dating that you I don't want to say that you deserve um because like who deserves anything but that that you've always seen yourself living you know like that that's definitely a dream of yours that you want to see play out where somebody for once goes all in out like goes all out for you you know um showers you with gifts and affection because that's what you typically do for the people that you're with and so it's like if you're if it's gonna be like pulling teeth, you wanna drag your feet, you wanna make this seem like you're just so stuck and you're so um, miserable because you had the five of wands at the bottom of the deck, then go ahead and set yourself free. Like, I'm not gonna hold you. And I mean, you're gonna release them with the utmost love and just respect for yourself. Like, you, you definitely view yourself a lot differently leaving your season and coming into Aries and Taurus season. Um, you're really going to The perspective of how you've been carrying yourself and the things that you've allowed will be no more <laughs> by Taurus season. Uh, believe you me. And it's going to be a little intimidating at first, right? 
it's gonna be a little intimidating at first having to change and um, getting comfortable in the new skin, right? Because with this death energy, you're, you're shedding. You're shedding an old version of yourself. You're shedding an old version of this relationship. You're shedding an old version of, again, just the way that you view yourself, like your physical appearance. You could be changing it completely. You could just decide that, you know what, you no longer want to live by Americans' standard of like freedom. And so maybe some of you guys, you're just so overwhelmed and so over this experience here and how lackluster it's been for you that you're gonna pack up everything and you're gonna take the risk and move overseas, like to another country somewhere that you've always wanted to go because why not? Like you only have one life to live and you don't want to get to the end of it and have all of these regrets or just feel like you just never took the reins and, and just took control over your life and tried to make it what you have always again envisioned for it to be and look like and feel like and taste like right all the things that you wanted to try cuisine right quick cuisine wise um culture wise um again relationship wise job wise you might be leaving a mundane um factory type of job or job that's it's, it's definitely giving me like corporate energy but it stifles your creativity like you're not really able to be your most authentic self and so it's it's worn and torn on you and at that at this point you're just like bubbling with um anticipation and, 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 and unease because you just want to be anywhere else like you, you're at that point where you're wanting to escape but you know you have to do it in a healthy way and so it's it's pretty much just like the start of you figuring out what you're really passionate about and moving in that direction here um, but five of swords energy again is profession it could be like somebody that works in, in like accounting with taxes um organizationally can be an architect um and or can be just doing more of like the administrative work in a different facility doctor's office um kids daycare something like that you know what i mean um so yeah, I, I'm definitely getting a transformative period is on the horizon for you. And again, you're feeling uneasy. Some of you guys, you already know that this is coming because you've been feeling it in your gut. Like you've been having this sense of like, um, like just being nervous and antsy and restless. And so you know that there's something that's about to come into your life and ultimately shake it up, liven it up a little bit. Um, and so you're just, you're curious to know what that is. Again, it, some of it has come out in this reading. If you want to dig deeper, you'll have to hit me up to see how it applies for you specifically. But for those that want to do their own research and just want to know like what placements to look at, as far as career, it'd be your 10th house. Um, any aspects that you have that are positive towards the 10th house, house and the transits that we're moving into. Relationships, look at the second house. Look at your fourth house synastry just to see if you guys are actually compatible in that arena as far as being able to be with somebody or being able to encourage um safety in a relationship with somebody that's not used to settling down right um if you're wanting to look at money it's second house and eighth house so look at all of these things right now and see in what area of your life you could be going through this transformation just so that it's not uh completely going to blindside you but for some of you 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 enjoy the element of surprise and so it's going to naturally do that um so i'm super interested in seeing how this plays out for you pisces that's what i have that's coming up so if this resonated give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe again if you haven't stop right now and subscribe find it find the button subscribe turn the bell notification on like this video share it with other pisces you know and um, yeah, hit me up if you want a reading, but if not, just take care of yourself and soul until you see me again. Ciao.